Exactly. He actually did it, and it's a terrible impression. Been, been waiting months. To, before we went, all I thought of when I thought of Scotland was golf. And so I always assumed that I'd go to the, Scotland on a golf trip. Um, I did get to play some golf, which was fantastic. But one of the things that I insisted that we do there is go to um, St. Andrews, which is the home of golf. just endless amounts of castles and old cities oh, and it's shit. just got so much history to it and it's all these as you go along these coastlines you're just like oh some vikings came over here and tried to like conquer from this area and it was just i don't know just so much history for me coming from the states um seeing places that are that were built in the middle ages and things like that it was really cool Let's head north from St. Andrew. You have the Cairngorm National Park and heading towards the NC500. This is a road trip that if you are in the UK or if you're thinking of going to the UK, I can highly recommend. From really flat, rolling hills, um, very picturesque seaside, to really dramatic cliffs, um, valleys, mountains, lakes, or lochs because you're in Scotland. Yeah. Oh wow, it was gorgeous. It was just not on my radar at all. It's windy here. Maybe repeat that. <laughs> yeah. What happened, Clay? Went down, man. Turbulent ground. Down. Um, get these guys 
a triple A, double A, AA. The AA, which not has a whole American meaning, AA. has a whole different meaning in the US, apparently. <laughs> We're not even sure who is driving. Uh, yeah, we are. It was me. <laughs> it was me. It was me. <laughs> smack it a smash that subscribe button. Whilst you're doing whatever he's asking you to do, remember to check out our next video where the three of us will be going to the beautiful land of Spain. Coming soon.